And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Victor. All right, so this is going to be our next deck. We're going to, going to be combining two really cool Piltover and Zaun champions, Teemo and Victor. And we're going to be making an aggressive, elusive deck with them. So we'll have uh, Poro Cannons making the Daring Poros. And of course, these Daring Poros will be created cards as far as Augment goes. Because Augment's going to be another uh, keyword that's going to be important besides elusive. Because we're going to have a card like Nandroid that has both Augment and elusive. So that's, you know, this is like the perfect card for this deck. Nandroid um, taking care of both of those. Of course, our Victor will have the Augment. But then we're going to be mostly all Piltover and Zaun, so we'll have Sump Snipe Scavenger creating the Sumpworks maps to be able to grant Elusive to cards like Victor or even like Ballistic Bot with the Augment, how it can grow to a lot of power. Let's throw Elusive on it. And so, you know, that, that's where Teemo's going to come into play too. We'll have all those Elusives, um, Augment, growing them, that kind of stuff. We'll have Mechanized Mimic that we'll be able to attack and grant the elusive to it if we have other elusive things in play. And we're just going to kind of try to race our opponents. We'll have a couple of Relentless Pursuits to rally to get even more elusive attacks. We'll have direct damage sources to finish them out with Get Excited and Mystic Shant. Um, some protection with Ranger's Resolve and Sharp Sight. Um, and also a suit up for some protection. Plus, we can make suit up can make Teemo or Daring Poro a 4-4 elusive, which can be pretty sweet. So we just got one of those. And because we even have some Percival at the top end, that can be a 5-5 elusive. So having different, you know, cards with different names is going to be very important. So that's why having some of these one ups can uh, can really help out. So pretty cool little deck here. Teemo Victor racing with um, Augment Elusive. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked, you know. So yeah, which one do you like more? Swain or Sejuani? You can craft, you know, if you're trying to decide between the two, it... I wouldn't necessarily say that Swain or Sejuani, like one is better than the other. Um, whichever one you like more, go for it. They're both good choices. Lissandra Trondle. Do I want to keep Mechanized Mimic? Nah. We'll discard these two. The Poro Cannon would have... Maybe I should have kept Poro Cannon. We discard it in Ignition and get two, Poro, two Daring Poros. Especially with having Nandroid and Android, I wish I would have kept it. Wow, trips Nandroid? Definitely wish I would have that daring Poro or the the uh, Poro Cannon right about now. Yeah, Darius will have has some use. Not a, a ton, but it's a very good top end card for aggressive Noxus decks. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. See the Demacian border from here. All the way from Safeguard here? Homes. Prime and ready. Behold me, ow, hairless apes. Safety is engaged. Yeah, I saw the new cards from today. Bunch of really interesting ones. That's probably like a, a YouTube video I should make of with like with the new cards. Talking about them and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we did at the beginning of the stream today. Was talking about all those. So all these three health things are going to be pretty good. You know, like bot, Nandroid, like they're not easy to kill, right? Because their their removal spells are going to be avalanche. And Blighted Ravine and Ice Shard and stuff like that. So, like, these won't die to one removal effect. We'll have, like, Snub, Sump Snipe Scavenger give the Ballistic Bot um, Elusive. And this Relentless Pursuit can surprise them. Can, we can get a surprise kill with that. So, I kind of like our chances. Come on in. Hmm. That hurts. Ready. 
We've only seen one Demacia card so far. A true Fragorian welcome. You won't believe what built these Sweet. Away. Still hit. You don't see that much Ice Fill Archer in Trundle Lissandra. But it was a very good Ice Fill Archer. Because, like, that's 10 right there. Put him down to 8. We could, like, you know, maybe they don't think that I'm going to attack next turn. And they tap out doing whatever. And then we Relentless Pursue. You know, like, they play, like, Trundle here. And die. It's possible. Let's take this outside. Can't get through this way. Could also be Ruination. You'll find you a formidable foe. Rise, metal brethren. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. They play Trundle and die. They play Trundle and die. There we go. Telling y'all, three health elusives. Got him. Ooh. Shivana, Jarvan, Aurelian Soul. So probably three, two, and one for the champions. You have one Aurelian Soul, two Jarvan, three Shivana. That's definitely getting mulliganed. This is definitely getting mulliganed. I don't know, it's a little bit of a slow hand for these other two. Usually these kind of decks play a lot of 3-2s, like the 3-2 Challenger, if you behold a dragon, or um, like the two man, like a couple of different two mana 3-2s that we can Mystic Shot. Um, the, the Challenger, like I was talking about, or Mountain Goat. Should play some good Mystic Shot targets. If they have the challenger, they should be passing. Let's play Mountain Goat. They they really they should Yeah, so they should if they're expecting ballistic bot, they could pass. I play bot, they play challenger. Humanity is obsolete. We wear red to honor the fallen. I'm not sure if that was the card that just drew or not. If they had it. If they had it. They probably should have just passed last turn. Could have got me. Ready weapons. Your sharp sight being awesome, like always. Hmm. Fortunately, they also had sharp sight. Well, the good news is they're down to three cards. Of course, they can play a dragon and make that not the case. With I really hope they don't have the challenger dragon. Please don't have that. We know they have a dragon in hand because the... Oh, no, they have that. Ugh. Yes, of course. Well, now we're pretty dead. Back to Timo, Ezreal, Sejuani. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan. Oh, Nandroid. You can probably go too. Whoa, 
Whoa, they don't have turbo Teemo? No turbo Teemo for them. Alright, so we can play our own Ballistic Bot this next turn. Oh yeah, draw those fuck caps. Ah, there's zero puff caps. Another day in the field. A battle scout tries their best. I rise a mew. Let's rise a mew. I'll save the spell mana instead of playing that ignition. I'm not sure about that though. All right, cool, Tenor. Hope it works out for you. Challenger. Leveling up, Teemo. All right, sharp side being awesome like always. Can you improve perfection? <laughs> puff caps be puff caps. You own what you take. So I thought they were gonna challenge my Victor and then I was gonna play new Victor and then I was gonna play Daring Poor and stuff like that afterwards. Good pass for my opponent. Pass for them. It's not broken, just needs a little love. Two lefts, then a right. Destiny always analyzing approach. That's a lot of mana. Down to just one mana left. And they will take lethal. Alright, cool. Alright, GG's. So, I, yeah, I was keeping up both Mystic Shots. One step closer. To the edge. Yeah, the Basilisk is good in the all Noxus deck. Yep. So we saw last... Time. Kind of want to keep the Poro Cannon to buff up the augment on the Nandroid. Uh, 
Maybe you should have kept that Poro Cannon. Like, I wouldn't play... The, like, I'd have to wait till after the Poro Cannon to play him anyway. <laughs> yeah, recover. <laughs> yeah, Kordak, your decks are doing very good today. We ranking up. So I'm hoping they play Trundle here. That's my goal. That's my hope, is that they play Trundle. We know that they have a champion from the Entreat. Go on, just play Trundle. You know you want to. Just play Trundle. No, they pass. Ugh, pass is the worst thing for me to see. Just hoping they play Trundle. Okay, well, so right now we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. The color is off. It's more likely that a mushroom cloud does damage to them and, and helps me out more than like this thermogenic beam helps me out, TBH. Oh, what a card. What a card. Yeah, this... Because if they would have played Trundle, you know, we wouldn't have played this Chump Womp. We would have had four of these other things. We would have dealt 14 damage to them last turn, and they wouldn't have healed for four, so that we would have put them down to two if they would have played Trundle. I can't really get the Subpersible up to 10, because I've already played Poro Cannon. I've already played Relentless Pursuit. I've already played Daring Poro. I guess just play it like this. Yeah, if they would have just... they Upon a play, great. If they would have just done that last turn, then would have you know hit them down to 2, gone to our turn, open attacked, they would have been dead. So they they played perfectly, but we still have a chance. Trying to make it where they can't play Ice Pillar this turn. I'm expecting Vengeance from them, so I think that like if we just copy the, you know, if we would have copied this and made a six six, they would just Vengeance the six six. Oh, that's not a Vengeance. Down to seven. We are weak to Avalanche now. Yeah, it's perfect avalanche mana. They've already played two Blighted Ravines, right? I think two Blighted Ravines. No, no, no. 
So if they were, if they did avalanche, then I would attack to improvement and and you know attack for another one. But I don't think I can attack to improvement and let them avalanche again. After that. That worked out well for them. Yeah, if it wasn't for that fading memories from earlier, right? Like that, these fading memories have really saved. Like my opponent has had a really good hand for for this deck. I think this is how the we've yeah. This feels like this is a good matchup. They've had like the the perfect answers. What did you want? You want me to play around fading memories? And if so, how? How do we play around fading memories? Get ready for a beat down. Ten six? Plus five plus zero? So one, two, three. So two more of these other things. So it puts me to two. We know they they create the deal one to everything at the beginning of the round. Like so, like this daring portal doesn't do anything because you know it dies to the ice shard. But then it also just doesn't even do any damage to the enemy nexus. Right now our suppressible is the only thing dealing damage to the enemy nexus. Okay, for ruination. What they do, that's okay. Mm, stop drawing five mana cards. I can't play unlimited five mana cards. We don't have that much mana. Ugh. Tough Nexus defeating my Puff Cap strat. So what's more likely, Ruination or like a a Flash Freeze? I guess a Ruination. Or sorry, sorry, I guess a Flash Freeze. Yeah, cause they're, or like an Entomb. Like all that's a, a lot... That's that's more likely than a ruination. So let's let's play this also. Go, go, go. It doesn't matter. I'll just whatever. Got him? Looks like we got him. Got him. Wow, three and one. Our deck, see, you can see uh, Harvey back here, very impressed. We have <laughs> Puppy over here laying down, very impressed also. And I cannot say that I've played the best. I, you know, like out of these four losses, at least two, maybe three of them were like, you know, ones that maybe some different decisions could have could have won it. Definitely at least two of them. Our decks are doing really well today. 
So they're throwing Sivir into uh, Thresh Nasus. All right, and Cordex says, because these are all from Cordex. So Cordex says the last the last deck is just theory crafted, hasn't been tested. So yeah, let's <laughs> let's hope it works. I think it will. Diana LeBlanc play Targon cards. You should do. You know, we'll do well. We'll figure it out. Take form. So how they're like think, thinking they're waiting, like maybe they have Glimpse Beyond, they're wondering about playing plus Black Spear, and so like I just turned on Black Spear for them. Yep, I just turned on Black Spear, but at least that's Black Spear not killing Victor. Should maybe be mystic shotting this thing. Gosh, this Reaper is so good. But yeah, it's it's really yeah. I guess Caretaker is really the card right there. I'm sure, it wasn't Reaper. It was Caretaker. Question is, if you could make any one card, what would it do? Man, that is something that I haven't even think I haven't even thought about at all. I don't know. I guess it would kind of depend on region. Um, I yeah, I haven't. I really haven't really thought about that at all. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. Mine likes death. To ruin. So do open man, I do open myself up to dying to atrocity by not blocking. But I think that's just a risk I'm going to take. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It'd probably be like a kind of de defensively slanted unit that can heal your nexus um, and create cards. I know those are the kind of things that I like. Of course, I always, I also do really like like the support cards. So it's quick attack and elusive. So I I have lethal this turn if they don't have atrocity or vile feast or anything like that. I have I have lethal this turn. Can you improve perfection? 
I was hoping for tough right there to stop a vile feast. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Well, I guess they just have atrocity. To the sock drawer. They never suspect us there. Improvements are necessary. Yeah, I can't can't play around it. If I play like one of the creative cards instead of playing like maybe if I play a creative card instead of playing the um, Nandroid, then you know the Victor is three power, and so is like the other you know so is the Ballistic Bot. Then we can block with three power things, and actually trade. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that really wins us though. Like then we're just tra you know we're just trading. We didn't have a you know we didn't have a bad chance right. Like most people just play two atrocities, so we didn't have a bad chance, but they just ended up having their atrocity also. The main thing is I should have if if I would have if I would have discarded something to get excited a turn like you know I guess it probably would have been the Nandroid or something if I would have discarded something to to get excited like an earlier turn you know we could have like saved seven damage by not taking the seven damage from that seven two or six damage or whatever it was. All right, well, frustrating end to this deck, unfortunately for for Teemo Victor uh, with the atrocity kill. That was a tough one, but um, you know that's how the game goes sometimes. That was a, a great Blighted Caretaker, like always, great atrocity, and that one drop hitting for just too much damage put us to too low of life. So that's too bad. And we our, our deck has looked good, though, but unfortunately just got a 3-2. and two. Um, But still, winning record. You know, we'll, we'll keep taking winning records with every deck. Um, but today, like... You know, we've lost five games, and it's, it's only really felt like we should have lost, like, one or two of them. It's been so close. Like, all these games that we're losing are so close. And, you know, maybe that's on me. Maybe I just need to be playing tighter, playing better. I don't know. Like, that. maybe that's just all on me. Maybe, maybe a better player would only have two, you know, like, one, two, three losses today instead of five. But that's, that's all right. That's... That's kind of life whenever you just pick up brand new decks and play them for the very first time ever, you know, like... You, uh, I make some mistakes. I'm not perfect, <laughs> but um, I have to just say that I've been very impressed with all three decks that we've played today. They've, they've looked very, very impressive. They've looked like they should be four ones and five O's. Um, and so I feel bad that they haven't been that, but that's life. Um, but yeah, very, very impressive deck here again for Timo Victor. This is a, this is a cool one. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck or any of the other two decks that we've played today. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying them because they have been really good. And we've been playing some different decks that have been looking good. And so yeah, hopefully y'all have been enjoying them. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Teemo Victor. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.